Hello everyone, welcome back to House of Ashes. We lost Eric in the last episode. We surely hope to not lose anybody else anytime soon. B b preferably not ever, right? But um, at least not anytime soon. And well, we are... I think we're playing as Jason. Well, we are with Jason if we are not playing as Jason uh, and we have to repair the generator. Which we just fixed as, uh, as Eric and uh, Rachel. Isn't it funny? So, before we repair the generator, we'll take a look around here. See if there's anything here we might otherwise miss. You already know. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. Okay. And I sure hope Dar is gone. I think that was his name, right? So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. Mm -hmm. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Yeah. Rub sal salt Eric's in the wound. paid a pretty steep price for that failure. We all have. What is that? The goddamn hell is that? Oh, okay. That's what it is. The gen. Okay. The gen popped. <laughs> There's the generator. Let's go take a look. I don't expect to find anything else, so I won't even bother taking a look around because it would be stupid if there was something now, you know what I mean? I need a hand here. I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Mm -hmm. Step touch. Looks it. Watch my back. Aha. Uh -huh. Our friend. The other friend. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Oh no. Uh oh. Better hurry back to... Look alive. Copy that. Our buddy. Cable okay, split. intruder, okay. Let's see what they lead to. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so fast, not so fast, not so fast. We take a proper look around, as always. I think it already paid off. What do you think? Of course. Yeah, I'll go with that. What do we have here? Sumerian Gods, okay. By Franklin Levitt. Uh, published by Napier and Brothers. Uh, yeah, is it is that interesting? I, I hope he opens the book up. Okay, I was about to say. Lama An eternity Eden does. You gotta be shitting me. Lamashtu was a terrifying she-demon, a murderer of infants who feasted on the blood and flesh of men. Me. <laughs> she is most commonly portrayed as a hairy, lion-headed monster. Me, with bird's feet. Often shown kneeling on a donkey. A serpent held in each hand and a dog, and a pig suckling at her breasts. Lamashtu had seven names and was referred to in incantations as the Seven Witches. Aha! She was responsible for many evil deeds, a bringer of nightmares, a poisoner of rivers, and a herald of famine and disease. Again, the number seven, right? Figure four, belt buckle found in the tomb of an Akkadian priest. Figure four A... Ah, yeah. Belt buckle detail. Lamashtu was the daughter of the Akkadian sky god Anu, father of gods and demons and the god of earthly kings. Anu was most often depicted in a horned headdress, while his Sumerian counterpart, An, was depicted as a great bull. In Mesopotamian religion, bulls were frequently seen as a sign of strength, a belief passed on to later Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures. For Greek philosophers, the bull's horns symbolized the horns of a dilemma, an impossible choice with no right answer. The gods of Sumer, Summer, Sumer, certainly presented no right answer for the Sumerians. They were at once kindly and cruel, they were at once kindly and cruel, grand and petty, 
fallible and supreme. Yeah. The ancient gods. Is this a way to go? No. Good. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's a cork board. Okay, I, I thought that could be a premonition, but no. That ain't no premonition. Not in here. This goddamn camera. Ah, I hate it. This is like Man of Medan all over again. This is one big part that I hated about the game. This way. Oh shit, I hope, please tell me you see this. Quick time event? Mm hmm? Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Well, that's not very nice. It's gotta be the Iraqis. Yeah, you think? From there, I thought it was the monsters planting bombs. Mm, no, but maybe the survivors? Who wanted to get rid of the monsters? Just an idea. April 2nd, 1946. Uh, we have assembled our team. Top of my list was... Unintelligible Crow. The Bulldog of Omaha Beach. We found him in Cairo, brawling for money in a... Levant... Levantine Drinking Club. Crow recommended Unintelligible. Let's see where it is. Yeah, no, you really can't read it. Uh, and in Haifa, we picked up my assistant, the always inquisitive Aline Journon. <laughs> um, whoever insisted on the presence of her own advisor, uh, Alice, Alice von Houten, I think, an archaeologist I know only from Unintelligible. Great. So much stuff that you can't read. Our team complete, we shall head to Lebanon. Lebanon? Lebanon. <laughs> and from there, by train to some place. I don't know. One of those guys is the curator, I think. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb. An honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon. But it seemed to comfort the Fellaheen doing the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god king, the Akkadian despot Naram Sin. We have been mistaken, but Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages, a discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sacred hall, I have no reason to doubt her. Okay, so that was the second journal entry of our pal. Back when things were still going swell for them. Okay. Also don't know what to make of that yet. State. Wait! Uh, let me watch that again real quick, uh, but first let's check out this um, entry. J uh, Randolph's Journal Part 2. This journal entry details the archaeologist's discovery of the temple. Uh, pictures. No, wait. That one's new? Let's watch that again. Yeah, the UV light, but um, that's too late now. What a pity. Uh, but yeah, staked. I think it was Jason stabbing who? Pretty sure it's Jason, but who is he stabbing? Again, I can't make that out. I think it's uh, the Iraqi soldier, right? Not entirely sure, but we'll see once that scene plays out, right? Um, 
Back up, buddy. What do we have here? Oh! A relic. A59? Star map. A clay tablet bearing some form of arrangement of stars. There is a catalog label posted to it. A59. A59. Whatever. Mm hmm. Will that be important? I wonder. Okay, this makes us leave the area, so we won't do that yet. Just a second. But I. Okay, but I think we can leave. We came in this way. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can move on then. I hope we can move on. waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. You think that's Joey? You can tell by the screams? It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. Was it Joey in the premonition? in place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. Midnight Mass. Sorry. <laughs> it's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Ah, Salim. Okay. Well, that was pathetic. <laughs> Yeah. Hindsight is 2020. And it is 2021. Uh oh. I see it. it so it is still alive, I think, right? Was it twitching here? I don't know where it was twitching, but something was twitching. We have a wallet. Is it our wallet? I wonder. It is. Dar? No. Is it... Dar's wallet? What? Is... Oh, I'm confused. I don't know. I have no idea. Couldn't make out who that was from the draw. Although... No, I can't take a look at that, right? I, I don't have an inventory. He looked like John. That would have helped me, I think. Oh, well, well, if it was Dar, maybe that drawing would have helped me figure out that it was John. I don't know. Um... Where exactly am I supposed to go? What am I supposed? Ah, another plank. Oh, oh, the thing is down there. Maybe that will be a jump scare. Just telling you because I saw the claw be uh, um, underneath the board. Careful. Uh. Is it still alive? Was it this thing that was twitching? Maybe that's not such a good idea. <sighs> but we have no choice, I think. Thought so. So holy shit, you can't even crush it. Oh look, all of a sudden you can make the jump. Now that your life is on the line, you can make the jump. Pretty interesting. Oh, the sunlight. There's sunlight. Maybe that was the wrong decision. I don't know. 
Get into the light, the light, the light. The premonition. That was the premonition we had. I re ah, I remember. That's the premonition we had. Bearing updated. Ultraviolet. Salim discovered the creature's sensitivity to sunlight. I would like to try and burn one of them to a crisp. See if that kills them. Oh boy. Ah! Yeah, let's see what this is made of. Bam! In your face! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't tell me it's dead. Did he stake it? Like a vampire? Did he? I mean, I think he did, right? But did this really kill it? I don't trust it, to be honest. I don't trust it. And I'm again. Ooh. Okay, but who is that? Some random NPCs we don't care about, I assume. They don't look important. <laughs> Those are not our guys that we can play. So I I think they will die. One of them is gone. So is this one. Well, at least we aren't the only ones being chased. That's a relief, I guess. <laughs> yeah, turn around like a duck. Guess we don't want to miss anything, but I don't think in this tunnel there's that much to miss. I at least I hope not. I hope I will see flashing lights in time before I walk past something. Ah, like this one. So I shouldn't miss anything, really. Oh, it's another one of those things. Hmm. R19. Another plaque. Um, number 29. Hold stone. A hold stone depicting people praying to something in the sky. Okay, that looked weird for a second. I was kind of disoriented by that. Oh. Oh. That's another one. But there's also a little bit of sunlight, it seems. But he doesn't care about that, okay. Nick. You still here, Joey? Okay, Joey, stay alert for danger. I don't know if it was Joey. This is Mailman 2 Wait. Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. Even if it is Joey, maybe it isn't the Joey we know anymore. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Check your weapons. But it wasn't face. Even if in the chance. It was Joey's body. I think, because of the glasses. It's Joey's. He's in bad shape. 
We gotta move fast. Honestly, I don't know if there will be a chance. This fucking place. Oh no. To help him? I'm stuck. I can't move. Should have never come here. Okay. Okay, I had to turn on the flash. Still buggy. Still very buggy, the game. It's a shame. Stay focused. Don't let this place fuck with you. Maybe you shouldn't rush the release to have one game every year if they end up being very buggy. Okay, so that was Joey's. So we came that way? Did we came that did we come that way? I don't think we did. No, this is the way to go. Don't let this place mess with your head. Hope I don't lose my mind up down in here. Inspect. How deep is that damn wall? This is fresh. That's solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? I don't really want to stick around and find out. Uh-oh. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Something really fucking nasty went down here. <laughs> Just a random theory that popped into my head. Uh, maybe in ancient times they, you know, these demons were turned into what they are now by some this is mailman to chemical an to all call signs. Radio check over. And the Iraqis are still using that chemical for their weapons, and maybe he was shot by one of those weapons, and now he is turning into one of that too, you know, like in Resident Evil, the T virus or something. I don't know. Just a random theory. Alit's letter or something like that? I don't know. October 23rd, 1964. The catacombs beneath the temple are heaped with. Those things, probably. Um, Aline has worked sacrificial digs in El Castillo, but even she hasn't seen whatever that is. <laughs> and unintelligible killed thousands in the name of their gods. Unintelligible in charnel pits, as though the slaughter... Hmm? Something? Uh, what plague or cataclysm demanded such a price? So much unintelligible. Yeah, literally. <laughs> whatever happened here millennia ago is a... Seventh of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent for a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. Something that needs to stay there. Randolph's Journal, Part 3. This journal entry reveals that the archaeologists found something mysterious deep below the temple. Yeah, that much we knew already. How did they find down there? He's close. This is so fucked up. Yeah, again, I don't really know about Joey. It's such a good idea to look for him, to be honest. Oh shit. 
I missed something. Come with me. Blood. Nick found Joey's medical kit in the tunnels. Um... Is this where I went? Yes. Okay. Oh, I did. I did not go the wrong, uh, the, the right way. Good. Okay. So it's a dead end. So, who? I'm happy that I went there. You may not be alone. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid that is a possibility. <laughs> Joe, is that you? Please come into the sunlight. Slow it down. Something right here. Yeah, something ain't right here. He needs to step into the sunlight so I can be sure that it is still him. Ah. Got him. Shit. It is John, right? It is John, I think. Grenade. Great. Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. Oh, no. Um. Aha. The stones are illuminated, of course, but nothing else is. Mm hmm. First the collector's edition and now this. <laughs> well, maybe it's a ray tracing thing. I don't know if this game has ray tracing. I didn't see that in the options because usually all games I played have the option to turn off ray tracing if they do have it. But I didn't see that there, so I don't know. Very narrow, the tunnel. I see something back there? Well, something's close somewhere. <laughs> Over there, there is a demon. You don't betray me. Well, if I'm in charge of both of them, they should. We can kill it. Nobody should betray you. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. I'm ready. Let's do it. What 
the fuck is it even doing? Is it smelling with sound? <laughs> Fuck this up. Very tense. And it did, it did not hear that. Are you kidding me? I blinked in that exact se in the exact same second. I almost missed it. to hell where she belongs I've seen sorry <laughs> bearing updated ultraviolet Nick and Salim cooperated to kill one of the creatures ha that's two down in my life but never that ugly What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? Do you believe in demons? If you'd asked me that before, I'd have laughed in your face. But now, in the Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes, where they lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. I can't even begin to comprehend that. Like you, I also never believed. But look around you. Look where we are, look what we have seen. We are trapped in the Sumerian temple. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Salim Osman, Lieutenant. Hirachi Army. Shukran, you hoya. This is Mailman 2 1 Actual to Mailman 3. I'll copy over. Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends better not do anything dumb. I hope so too. I said, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. I hope so. I'm hesitant to say that if I'm not in control. Please don't kill him. Please let explain. Down the fucking floor. Stop pointing your guns at me. All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon. Do it now. No. You lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! You pull that trigger and I swear to hell, Baba and the 40 Thieves is the last fucking thing you'll do! 
I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American! Okay, enough! There's no point in fighting. Good. Not anymore. Bearing updated. Uh, ultraviolet. Nick and Salim cooperated to kill one of the creatures. Uh, after meeting Nick, Salim surrendered to the Americans. Ah. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. We're heading back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This plane's a bust. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Good. Okay. Uh, the cutscenes won't end, and we are already at almost 37 minutes, just saying. <laughs> Is that a camera? Was that a camera in front of the door? Yes, it was. Oh my god, okay. Why in the hole? So we will go this way then. That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Oh, we will slow down long enough to spot them on the cameras. Mm, that's why they or we will slow down the creatures, at least something, okay. And we have cameras to spot them, if they should come out of there. Which they will, I know it. But where do the cameras come reset from? That trip wire. All of Man. a sudden. Just asking. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Uh, never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things... There's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Curious to see where this will go and where Something Rachel else. is. You don't think? I don't know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. If they are crawling with these creatures, What's yes. Your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. We'll never have a good answer for that. If I get asked. We still have the east flank to cover. Eyes open. Let's go. Am I in control? Not yet. The demons will kill me. You have to have time. I believe you, but I can't do anything about it. You think I'd leave my man here if I thought there was a threat? Oh my god. That's not how we do things around here. It's okay. But it's here to protect you. Don't worry, we got this place locked down tight. <laughs> I don't think it is, but okay. This here's as safe as it's gonna get. I feel a lot safer with a gun in my hand. No way am I giving you a weapon. That don't mean I'm gonna feed you to your demons. And if it moves, be here before prayer leaves your mouth. I hope so. We've got work to do. Let's go. Can I please be in control now so that I can pause? I mean, I can pause right now, but Christ. you know what I mean. These doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in the force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. 
These creatures aren't dumb. The predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. The cutscene really won't end, won't it? Won't it? <laughs> Steps or was it clicking? I don't know. Hmm. Finally, I heard something. That's why I was asking. So fortify the temple is the current objective, but not in this episode because we're gonna end it here for today. Finally, I mean, you know, if I watch somebody, I do like it. If surprisingly certain videos are longer than usual, I'm always like, ooh, yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, when I'm creating content, I'm always like, oh, isn't that a bit too long? You know what I mean? So um. We're going to end it here for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one where we will fortify the temple. Until then, bye bye